in trouble and you need someone to help you out there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout hey 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 help is on its way call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers help is on its way George the Turtle loved being a postman and he took pride in making sure all his friends got their posts safely. In fact, he never once failed to deliver a letter. George had to take a little break every now and then. Delivering post was thirsty work in the hot outback sun. Oh, just what I needed. Hi, George. Lovely morning. More than Alice. It's gonna be a scorcher. Have you got any mail for me? Well, uh, I normally, uh, you know, like to deliver the mail, well, get properly to your house. Uh, I like to make sure it arrives safely. Oh, OK, George. But I suppose just this once we could have a little look-see. Oh, if you're sure. Now then, uh... Ah, here you go, Alice. One letter delivered by hand. Oh, thanks, George. I don't know what we'd do without you. <laughs> All part of the service, Alice. Bye. Bye, Alice. Another satisfied customer. Right then, back to work. In all the excitement, poor George had forgotten to tighten the lid on his flask of tea. His post was getting all wet. Meanwhile, at the Koala Brothers' homestead, it was wash day. OK, Ned. After three. Three! Uh, uh, Buster, where are you? I'm over here. <laughs> I'm... <sighs> it's got footprints all over it. You're supposed to wash it before you hang it up. I think we better wash it again, Ned. I think you're right, Buster. <sighs> oh, dear. Morning, George. More than everyone. Hi, George. Right. Uh, let's have a little look-see. Uh, no. it... Oh. Oh. All of George's mail was dripping wet. Oh, dear. Any mail, George? What? Um, no. Uh, w well, yes. Um, well, sort of. Uh, everything all right, George? Oh. It's a bit soggy. Oh, it's all my fault. Me flask of tea must have leaked in Miss Satchel. Everyone's post is ruined. Don't worry, George. Th there must be something we can do. Eh, hey, Frank? Well, as we've got to wash the sheet all over again, we can peg George's post out to dry on the washing line. Do you think so? Frank's right. They'll be dry in no time in the hot sun. Oh, thanks, fellas. We're here to help. Ned, can you help me hang this lot up? You can count on me, Frank. And we'll have a nice cup of tea while we wait for the post to dry. I don't really feel like tea, Buster. I know, George. It'll be all right. <gasps> so with Ned's help, Frank hung George's mail out to dry. Hmm. That's the last one, Frank. Thanks, Ned. Now, all we have to do is wait. George was feeling bad about soaking the mail. He felt like he'd let everyone down. Don't worry, George. Everyone makes mistakes. But I'm not supposed to make mistakes. I'm supposed to deliver the post. Are these dry yet? Frank and Buster were right. The mail was dry in no time. Ah, here you go, George. Dry as an old stick. Oh, thanks, Frank. Oh. Something wrong, George? Well, it's really dry, but uh, I can't read the address. He's right, Frank. The ink must have run when it got wet. Ah. Uh, oh. I 
I can't read any of them. Oh, dear. How can I deliver the post when I don't know where it's supposed to go? Well, this one's from Penny the Duck. Ah, uh, Penny's a penguin, Mitzi. How do you know it's from her anyway, Mitzi? Who else do you know that comes from the South Pole? Of course. Penny sends us a card every week. Well done, Mitzi. I wonder if there are any clues on the others. Ah, oops. Ooh, that's a bouncy one. Huh. It's squashy too. I think I know who that one's for. You do? Can I hang my washing up now? Mitzi. <laughs> At the waterhole, Archie and Josie had arranged to play tennis. But there was something missing. Ah, ah. Where's George? We can't play without him. Maybe I should come back later, Archie. Hi, Archie. Hi, Archie. Uh, Josie. Hi, Josie. Hello, all. George! Oh! Ah, uh -huh. uh, don't suppose you have a little something for me, George? How about... Aha! Thanks, George. Archie! What would we do without you? It's a tennis ball. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Josie! Game on! <coughs> With just the letter and the little parcel left to deliver, George was feeling a lot better. So, uh, who do you think it belongs to, Frank? Hmm. Mm. This one's tricky. Did you hear that, Frank? It sounds like a bell. But who needs a bell? Good day, all. Maybe we should ask Sammy. Good idea, Frank. Hi, Sammy. Whoa! Sorry, Sammy. We didn't mean to make you jump. Oh! <laughs> Good day, all. <laughs> I didn't hear you come in. You see, the bell's broken on my door. I'm waiting for a new one. Well, Sammy, your wait is over. Here. Huh? Oh, thanks, George. You're a marvel. <laughs> Just doing my job. They looked all over the last letter, but couldn't find any clues. Who was the letter for? We could always open it. Oh, no. No. We couldn't do that. People's letters are private. For the first time ever, it looked like George wasn't going to deliver a letter. There's only one thing to do. George will have to open the letter in front of everybody. Oh, well, I don't know. Great idea, Frank. Everyone gathered in the town to see if they owned the last letter. They were all very excited. OK, everyone. George is now going to open the letter. Well, I'm not sure I'd really... Open the letter, George! OK. Here goes. Come on, George. Who's it for? Uh, uh, it's for me. Oh, oh, Will you look at that? It's a certificate from the post office for the best postman in the outback. Oh, well, I'll be. Congratulations, George. Oh, easy, Master. Yay! I'd, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to thank Frank and Buster for all their help. And uh, from now on, I'll always make sure everyone's letters arrive safe and dry. So George realised that everyone, including the best postman in the outback, sometimes made mistakes. And from then on, he always checked his flask to make sure that no one ever got a wet letter again.